Tomorrow, the United States Supreme Court will hear arguments involving one of Kentucky's abortion bans. The case itself is not directly about abortion. It's about Kentucky's ability to defend its abortion laws. But this case and two others is forcing the country's highest court to once again take a look at the debated topic of abortion. LAX 18 political reporter Carolina Buchek sat down with Attorney General Cameron before he left for Washington to talk about everything in tonight's big story at 530. Tuesday, uh, October 12th is an important day for Kentucky. Last week on the steps of the Kentucky Capitol, it fits into the return of the sanctity of life. Attorney General Daniel Cameron made it clear his team won't stop defending the state's attempts to ban abortion. That we're going to respect life here in Kentucky and that we're going to protect those who cannot speak for themselves. And this battle over abortion rights has once again reached the United States Supreme Court. To have a case in front of the United States Supreme Court uh, is a is a big moment. In a one on one interview with LEX 18, the attorney general made it clear he's proud of Kentucky's attempts to stop abortion. I'm supporting life. Now it's important to point out that the Supreme Court won't actually rule on whether Kentucky's abortion ban is OK or not. So what exactly is this case about? Well, in 2018, lawmakers passed a restrictive law essentially banning dilation and evacuation abortions. But ultimately, a federal appeals court ruled against it. And when the attorney general tried to get involved, he was denied. So he wants the Supreme Court to give him the power to continue defending Kentucky's abortion bans, even past that point. So that's what the case is directly about. But indirectly, this is all about abortion. And the attorney general is openly against it. If you look across the country, uh, the more and more that science and technology catches up with uh, what's going on in the womb, I think uh, the more and more you're seeing people acknowledge and recognize just how important and uh, dear life is. But not everyone is anti-abortion. This month alone, people marched in support of choice. My body, my choice! My body, my choice! Critics are going to say, but what about the woman involved in this? What about her ability to make a reproductive decision? Your response? Again, I just say that uh, we're going to stand up for life, and I've made no bones about uh, that uh, viewpoint. Again, I know some people don't necessarily agree that we need to protect life. I, I do believe uh, that that's the responsibility of uh, myself to defend those laws. And again, I think the General Assembly agrees that we have to protect life. But what will the Supreme Court say? That's what the country is waiting to hear. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butrek, LXCT News.